Creating intentional change means being intentional with our presence and mindfulness in the world around us. In order to be our most successful best selves, we want to take intentional steps to create an environment that sponsors our ability to be our best selves. Many of us right now are spending quite a bit of time at home these days, and many of us are also out and about in the world completing essential tasks in order to help the rest of us stay safe as we harbor at home. Regardless of where you are in your world, your home environment ought to be a safe haven, a place that you return to every single evening and wake up to and know this is an environment that sponsors you to live your best life. That being said, we live within our environment and we also know that there are times where our brain and our body make choices that don't necessarily align with the decisions we prefer to be making. So in this guided meditation, I'd like to invite you to create an opportunity to start shifting your relationship with any parts of your environment that are not in best service of you. Our little friend Amy, the amygdala, really does have an experience about her that encodes context or the environment around her. We have seen from the literature that simply walking into a space that is reminiscent of a place where a stressful or traumatic event was experienced will get our amygdala lit up and engaging more frequently in our day-to-day -day life. Since coping skills are directly related to stress, there are ways we mitigate stress and especially less than preferable coping skills are traditionally tied to our amygdala. We know there's a certain nuclei that she has that directly engage with different substances, alcohol, drugs, food, etc. Then we want to be very mindful about managing our environment successfully. Um. 